the sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish and publish the same things that are true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. I'm going to ask you in the beginning here. To forgive me, I'm a little nervous. The first time I've ever really done a vlog. And um, I'm going way out of my comfort zone with this one. Way. For now, I'll go by the name of Sophie. I'm an ex-PSYOP operator. I was in the business of manufacturing crisis. If you don't know what a false flag event is or a PSYOP, I encourage you to go look it up. I'm not gonna take the time to explain it to you. I don't know how much time I have left. False flags are scripted, stored in a vault, waiting on standby. Excuse me for a second, guys. Sorry for the interruption. It appears that someone came to the door to deliver a package to the wrong address. Why even use a false flag event? <laughs> well, let's just say that if the United States was at war and they were accused of a war atrocity and by the hand of God that information was aired, a false flag event would be released in order to distract them, the masses. And then you'd forget all about those war atrocities. I personally was in the business of disseminating and producing that media in order to delude, distract, and disinform the masses. False flag events go through several phases. The first, a script is drawn up, kind of like a screenplay you know, for a movie. Once the agency reviews it, they approve. The operator is given a budget, around $20,000 to create a demo. I was over the PSYOP department. Once that demo's reviewed and they like it, then they ask for the full script to be developed. That demo or sizzle reel could look something like a lone nutball assassin goes into an elementary school and shoots up a bunch of kids. They review the reel. If they like it, they greenlight it. And then they ask the operator to go ahead and develop the full story. The next phase is we set up operation, develop all the departments and the players, talking assassins, firearms, crisis actors, non-crisis actors, director, special effects, set design, elementary school principal, police commanders, then we start rehearsals. Then the false flag event occurs. Then it's released to the media, all the major broadcasters. The final phase is that you believe the lie. You forget all about the war atrocities, what's really happening, because you're so distracted. And everything those honest news outlets were trying to share with you are put on, this, put on the wayside. You don't even pay attention to it anymore because it's just not loud enough, is it? My sizzle reels were never actually produced. They were never green-lighted. They thought my stuff was too extreme. I actually was hoping to transition out of working with the government and working in Hollywood full-time, like Tarantino. What a frickin' joke. But I still have my demos and my roughs, and I'm gonna share that stuff with you in this video. You're probably wondering why I'm even sitting here talking to you. I'm disappointed that I got caught up in my own lies and I can't live with myself anymore. I'm trying to clean up my karma and share with you guys my personal experience and hopefully, hopefully I won't be in danger. So um, I'm gonna share with you my PSYOP demos and uh, hopefully it'll help you wake up, help you to see truths around you, help you to not believe everything you see or hear or even eat. <laughs> My PSYOP demos were geared towards shows like Dateline and 60 Minutes. What I'll do for you is read the synopsis before each scene so that you have an idea of where I was going with each of these things. And uh, also, you'll have an idea of what the full story would have looked like had it been fully produced. Synopsis for Sophie's Web. Sophie, a police detective, was raped by another cop, Officer Ainsworth. When she reports the incident to her captain, she's labeled 5150 and fired. Sophie calls in favors from two fellow cops, Ref and Noland, in order to get revenge. Ref is a detective that moonlights as a referee for underground fights. Noland is a detective that moonlights as a filmmaker.
Sophie claimed she was a detective who was raped by a cop. When she reported the incident, she was terminated. She wanted revenge. So she called in favors from two other cops. It was at this bar where Sophie's cronies met with her attacker. They had some drinks. They argued. A gun was drawn on Officer Ainsworth, Sophie's rapist. I'm up for you, Brooke. Come on. Just one, you know, like enough. <laughs> what do you guys think about a guy who cuts his dick off? Proceeds to his nuts. Follow me. Takes a scrotum. Makes it into the shape of a vagina. Now, do we call that a chick? Or is it just a dude with a Play-Doh pussy strapped to his crotch? Jesus. He's a chick. I like how he put that, Ainsworth. He's a chick. Ainsworth got fucking lived hard. Well, like it or not, there are actually 63 genders. Well, in that case, Ainsworth, you're scoliosexual. <laughs> the fuck is a scoliosexual? <laughs> how the fuck would you know that? Discovery Channel. Hey, Ainsworth. No, I've been meaning to break it to you. Uh, I really want to split your wife in half. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll split your nutsack in half and fuck you like a bitch, you, you, you faggot. Lived hard comes somebody a faggot. Double standard there much, you fascist. Sig Heil. Riff. You talk big because your dick is small. I talk small because my dick is big. You got your riff. Because my gotcha. dick is big, he says. <sighs> All right, Anusworth. <clears throat> your wife isn't going to know the difference between your dick and my dick. Okay, a whore's biggest dick is her pimp's anyway. Look, you libtard, I wouldn't expect you to admit that the only thing that can make your wife's pussy come is that of the black mambas from across the street. <coughs> and that gentrified neighborhood that you call home. Yeah? But hey, why don't you do us a favor and take that 45 you got there and go fuck your wife with it. We'll call it cold black steel. Mother... <laughs> Fuck, Fuck man. hell. It's like, you know, it kind of just fits on the way out. Hey, 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 come on. Come Knock on. Knock it off, bro. Oh, Bowtie, no. hey, both hey, your hey. dicks together and skull fucking. Set the fuck down. Wait, what the shit, man? I think I'll just depart from this sword fight and find myself some pussy. Find myself some pussy. Well, well let me see. Darling. Uh, Sophie. This is where Officer Ainsworth ended up. <laughs> With his manhood now removed. So Ref helped you? Yeah, he helped me. He helped me to realize that I'm not the type of bitch that you just rape without a reach around. You stick your dick in me, you better make me come, motherfucker. You took a little piece of my soul and cut it in. It's not that I'm generous, it's just that I don't have that much soul. Guess a year or so ago I got touched Karma is a bitch and she knows how to fuck Let a bitch be a bitch and see the stitches get slit And watch me metamorphose as a slut Singing with my broken wings in the hollow grave It's better to be a fallen angel Sophie's at the door So when I slash you in the gut I can't get no satisfaction 
heart check, get no satisfaction. Sophie. Him and Detective Nolan. Is this the motherfucker that raped you? It's okay. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Just come. Just come. Just come. Okay? <laughs> Just come on. Dude! How do they help you? They help me get. Take a deep breath. You're gonna need it. You. Revenge. The fuck do you know me? <laughs> Shit. That's the first video, the motel scene. Feel free to leave comments and likes and share this video with other people so we can get the word out. I'll do my best to respond to the comments. And uh, I hope you guys can forgive me. <clears throat> Until next time.